My name is Angela Han, and I am chairperson for the uh, Food and Accommodations Committee for the 42nd General Council. And as for how long it's taken us, we've been three years planning this, and besides the local arrangements planning, it's been in the works for longer than that, I'm sure. But anyway, my job was to find cookies, treats for the snacks, the morning snacks and the afternoon snacks, as long as General Council has been on the go. And my church is uh, Summerside Bethany Mission Unit, and it's just across the bay from Cornerbrook. And how many churches have contributed to this? Oh, my heavens, I have no idea of knowing. Uh, all the use, my contacts were UCWs right across the island, and I sent out letters to all the local areas, local uh, area presidents, and they contacted their local units and the cookies and the donations when coming nonstop. And so how do you handle this? You must have a small area here. You must have a staging area someplace. This is our area. This is our workspace. We do have storage for our cookies and there's your mega, humongous cookies up there. Uh, Andy, uh, Reverend Andy Wright is a, a, a past minister of uh, Pasadena and he's gone into farming now. He's a farm boy from Ontario and he's gone back to farm. He's still doing ministry and he offered his uh, warehouse to store the cookies and believe me there are lots of cookies in his warehouse. Tell me, how, many coffee, how much coffee did you go through on the first day? Well the first day was our trial run and uh, we definitely cannot count cups, but we use four cans like this on the first day and one can like this of decaf and tea bags, no, no way of knowing, but we're on our second case of tea bags right now. What other kinds of snacks are you offering besides cookies? Uh, we have cheese and crackers and we have fruit and the first few days we had yogurt and uh, we still have some yogurt around somewhere. We have bananas, uh, we were on three cases of bananas, gone, and second case of oranges and apples. People like liked the fruit. And um, do you have, how, many, how many people are working with you here? How many people are coming in and out? Because you've got volunteers coming in shifts. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, the volunteers are wonderful. I've been, I've been using my, I'm area president for Humber Bombay, and I've been using my local churches in the surrounding area, Cornerbrook area, Deer Lake and Pasadena. I've used those ladies to help serve here and I've got a shift of 12 every day from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Today I'm very short-handed because there are uh, meals being served to the tour groups in the other churches and I've had a little unfortunate incident in my church where a couple ladies cannot be here and I'm I won't say stuck with, <laughs> I will say stuck with, God love them. Yeah. I have two ladies from my church today, Fern, Fern Wheeler and Liza Hand here. I've got a volunteer here from uh, Valley Field. Field. She's visiting her sister yeah. here. And I had another lady in helping with coffee this morning. And this is my assistant. She's from Smith's Harbor and she came with me for all week. But generally I have 12 ladies a day and they prepare entrees, all of this stuff. And so what do you think of General Council? Oh, Tell me, what's your, what's, has this been a good experience oh, for you? Oh, wonderful, wonderful experience. My first experience with General Council was the 40th. I attended it as a UCW representative in uh, Kelowna, BC, and it, it was awesome. It was totally awesome. To be in the presence of so many people was just tremendous. And now I'm working for the same, same group of people. And I love it. I love it. I wouldn't do this if I didn't love it. I really do.